All right, today I'm going to go over the Active Directory server application that you can install from Synology. I believe that this application is only available for the Plus and Enterprise lines. So when you install the Active Directory server app, it will also automatically prompt to install the DNS server application as well. So once you've got the application installed, let's go into it and I'll kind of show you around a little bit. This is, uh, this is Samba based emulation of uh, Microsoft Active Directory services and it's a very basic feature set here. If you go to users and computers, uh, you've got basic user group and OU control here. Uh, you can create your own OUs. You can see computers that have been joined to this domain. Uh, by the way, just a reminder that any computers you do want to join to this domain you should have them pointing to this Synology unit as their DNS server so keep that in mind and also I think I'll, I'll point out that I see the functionality of this application as for work group based environments where there is not any other Windows server present but you do want 80 based services uh, this is you know maybe a decent option for you I'll also show you that there's some very basic group policy support here. It's basically just for uh, password and, and account lockout policies, but that is a pretty uh, uh, basic need per domain, so it's a, it's a good set of uh, settings to have in here. So basically, um, you can create users, groups, and what you can do once you've created these if you're going to create shares on your Synology you can basically uh, set your permissions using that so I've created a test share in here let me go ahead and go to it and once I'm here I'm going to go to permissions so what you're going to see is in addition to the local users and groups on the Synology you also have your domain users and groups as well so you know you can use these to set to set basic um, view or read write permissions and there's some advanced permission options here as well if you want to get into that so basically it's a it's just a very lightweight AD impl uh, implementation uh, probably for work group environments for maybe a small subset of PCs um, so anyway I think that's about it thanks a lot